Brad, what are we doing? Taking a break. It's my private dressing room. Nice, huh? Wow. I'm shaking it, boss. I'm shaking it. Hey, I'm thinking about dyeing my hair. What do you think? What? What did you say? I'm thinking about dyeing my hair. Gray works for clothing. What you got there? My daughter. She's cute. What's her name? Emily. She just turned 13. You miss her, huh? Yeah. Only get to see her a couple times a year now whenever I go back to Wisconsin to see my folks. Whatever happened with you and, um, what was your wife's name again? Oh, uh, Amanda. <laughs> you forgot too, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so whatever happened with you and Amanda? Oh, man. Well, after the series went down and the money started running out, Amanda got scared. We were down to our last three bucks. I couldn't pay the rent. So I, uh, I told her to borrow some money from her parents, you know, just to, you know, things picked up. Yeah, and why not? Well, she called them all right. She asked them for two plane tickets, one for her and one for Emily. Man, that's cold. Well, I don't want to lose my family, so, you know, I told her I'd go home with her and we'd start a... Normal life. Whatever the fuck that is. <laughs> Didn't work out, huh? Yeah, looking back, I uh, should have realized it was over before I ever got on the plane. Yeah, well. <sighs> but I tried, though. I really tried. <laughs> you know, the ironic thing? I went to work for a buddy of mine who got rich uh, raising money for politicians. Uh, I'd been working there for about a year. Amanda and I had to go to all functions, and he and Amanda got real chummy. Here comes the punchline, right? Yeah. Yeah. Amanda comes home late one night. As soon as she walks through the door, she starts crying. She told me she just slept with my uh, best buddy. I was, uh, I was in shock. All Amanda wanted to do was take a shower. What kind of shit doesn't wash off? Yeah, well, that's what I found out. I couldn't go back to work, and I knew things would never be the same between Amanda and me. So I borrowed some money from my folks. Kissed a uh, little girl goodbye and flew back. And I've been trying to get my career going ever since. So, whatever happened with Amanda and the guy? Oh, yeah, they got married. <laughs> oh, man. No, actually, no. It turned out to be a good thing. He's got plenty of money and that's all he needs to keep Amanda in line. My daughter's going to have everything she could ever want. I couldn't do that for her. Man, you know, you're just going through a slow period, that's all. You know, things will pick up again. Lightning strikes all the time. You could get a, another series tomorrow. Yeah. yeah, that's the way it is, isn't it? One step away from being a millionaire and half a step away from being broke. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thrill of the ride, brother. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, Brad. You know, 
sometimes I feel like a child that has to depend on everybody else to take care of them. I mean, sometimes I can't even feed myself. Man, you think too much. I, I, that's your problem. You think too much. I mean, that thinking shit will drive you nuts. Well, what about you? You ever think about quitting this and getting a straight drop? And giving up all this? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. What the hell could I do? Huh? I'm 43 years old. I got no job skills. Oh, well, you're a smart guy. You can do anything you put your mind to. I had a straight job once. <laughs> After the series, I took a job managing a restaurant. I hated it, but I had to do something, right? Mm -hmm. One day after the lunch rush, I sat down and relaxed, have a cup of coffee. A feeling came over me, man. There's no way I can describe it. There was so much pain in my body. My soul was aching. And then it got too weak. What do you mean? I could actually feel my soul leave my body. It was so much pain, didn't even want to stay in there. In fact, it didn't even want to stay in the restaurant. I could actually see myself through the eyes of my soul watching me from a window outside the restaurant. Jesus. Now, I heard about that kind of shit happening to somebody who dies and comes back to life, but never to somebody who was living. I quit on the spot and never thought about it again. Wow. Yeah, well, your uh, worst day in acting is better than your best day doing anything else. That's it. And see, for me, this job is temporary. I mean, I'm going to get back in shape, get some new headshots. Things will turn around. Yeah. For you, too. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you're right. I know I'm right. I know I'm right.